But no, what's up everybody from YouTube? You're watching the Triple Threat with Tony Pizza Guy, Tubby Emu, and of course, Smalls99. Today, they're going to be talking about what games they're looking forward to for the end of the year. So stay tuned. Hey, hey fucker, don't you see I'm trying to record something here? It's like the intro to John Cena's theme song. What is going on, guys? My name is Tubby Emu. Welcome, of course, to the Triple Threat. And uh, let's go ahead and introduce who we got on the show. Tony? What's going on, guys? How's it going? Back on the Triple Threat number two. Number and, uh, three? Number three. <laughs> Smalls99. What's up, bitches? All right, so we're going to take a step back from WWE today. And, uh, Tony, what are we talking about, man? Um, we're talking about how what games we're looking forward to in the future as far as the end of the year goes. All right, uh, Tony, you want to start it off, man? It was kind of your Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, um, we're not talking about WWE, but the uh, game I'm looking forward to is WWE 12, obviously, because much improved game. And then the other one I'm I'm really looking forward to is Dead Island, the co-op zombie killer, and then the last others, of course, Gears, Battlefield, Modern Warfare. Those are so always... The, the big name ones. Now, right, right, right. The ones that aren't the big names, because obviously we're, we're all looking forward to those. But what's drawing you to Dead Island? From what we've seen on the trailer, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, it's just CGI. It doesn't actually look that good. What is drawing you to Dead Island? Specifically? Um, just the, the, the co-op zombie beat-em-ups. I always enjoy those, and that's probably the, the big thing that's getting me in on this. It's just the co-op zombie beat-em-up genre. I'm just a big fan of that. So now, with Dead Island, and then you have Left 4 Dead, because I know you brought this up when we recorded this before. How does Dead Island, how is it going to go a step farther to be better than Left 4 Dead? How's it going to go above that franchise? Uh, basically, I think it's open world. It is open world. I know that for sure. And I don't think Left 4 Dead was open world as much. It, it kind of was. It was kind of like a clear path. But I think this is going to be more of a open world, do what you want, Grand Theft Auto ish type game. Yep, yep, yep. Now, or obviously, you're going to be restricted to an island, so I don't know how big it could be. <laughs> now, is that the, is that your number one game, or is it WWE 12 for you? It's got to be WWE 12, just because I'm a huge fan of that. I want to. I'll play the crap out of that game. I know that. Yeah, because I think we're all getting sick of SmackDown versus Raw 2011. Now, Smalls, what do you got going on? Um, you know, I'm just gonna lift off my uh, top five, and uh, um, for number one is gonna be a tie battlefield and Modern Warfare 3. Obviously, that's what every everybody's gonna get. Everybody in the fucking world is gonna get Modern Warfare 3, and of course, all the people are gonna get Battlefield to see if it's better than um, Modern Warfare. Number two would have to be FIFA 12. Number three would have to be NBA 2K 12. Number four, um, I would have to go with uh, Batman Arkham City. Oh, I forgot about that game. Yeah. And then number five for me would be Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2012. Are, are, you, are you fucking going <laughs> right now? <laughs> are you seriously what's wrong, looking what's wrong, big what's wrong, what's Cabela, what's wrong with Cabela's Big Game Hunter 12? I didn't know if you were being serious. What's wrong with it? <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you downloaded the demo? No, I haven't played the demo either. I, I just laughed you when I heard hustle, that too. Teaches you hustle, loyalty, and respect. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So, uh, with FIFA, are you looking uh, forward to a uh, Pez at all? No. Do, Pe do you think uh, PES is so sort of down, dude. This year? No, PES has been in steady decline for about seven years. All right. I, I don't know. I think I, I know everybody when they're talking about a machine, but the, the only good game they ever produced was Pez Six. Yes. And then, and then they just went downhill from there. Yeah. I never really played They're trying game. to be like FIFA now. They're trying to, like, copy their everything with FIFA. And they're not in a, a, an official game, are they? It's not actually sanctioned by the league and the soccer. I think it is. It is? Some people yeah. are bringing that up, I know. So, out of your top five, you have Battlefield, the Modern Warfare 3, the games you're looking forward to. What's the game you think you're going to end up playing the most? I don't know, man. That's going to be tough. Probably. Probably Modern Because everyone's going to get Modern Warfare, it is. So I'm assuming I'll play Modern Warfare more. Now, when you brought up earlier that you think people are going to buy my, uh, Battlefield 3 just to try to see if it's better than Modern Warfare 3, is that going to. Do you think Battlefield 3 players have that mindset? Do you think. Uh, some of them will. Some of them will want. Some of the, most of them are going to be obviously Battlefield hard, try, uh, you know, diehards. And the ones are going to be looking for change. And a lot of people are going to want to see the difference because. It's getting a lot of hype from E3 and a lot of hype from that Caspian trailer. So people want to see what's up with that game, man. The graphics look ridiculous, you know, flying in airplanes and tanks. And it's like more realistic, more real real world stuff. All right, man. And then, okay, my top games, I know. Hey, Scott. I don't, 
<laughs> I don't know if you brought up Madden 12. Madden yeah, 12 uh, yeah. Uh, it's not on my top five, but yeah, I'll play it. Yeah, it's definitely not on my top five. You know what game I'm waiting for? ESPN NFL 2K13. That's the game I'm waiting for. Is, do you think that's ever going to happen? Their contract ends next year. Oh, shit. We're going to have to see where that one goes. Uh, some of the ones you didn't bring up that uh, Rage. Rage has been hyped up so much over the past year. Me. Everybody's talking about it. I'm not really looking forward to it. Um, Elder Scroll, Elder, the Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim. I know tons of people on every Machinima video I see. Everybody's looking forward to it. I've never played Elder Scrolls. Oh. You know, all the games that I'm looking forward to, you've already hit on. Right. I'm going to be looking forward to Modern Warfare, Battlefield, and then of course WWE 12 because that is our biggest audience. And I think that WWE 12 is going to make it or break it for the THQ because every year. Do you guys ever notice that how they always pump up a game, especially the ones that go in sequence, like all the EA games, uh, WWE? They always say every year it's better than ever, and then it turns out that it's not that much better. They have to. Yeah. Well, I don't know they, yeah. I don't they have to. But you know, I and again, you guys did touch on Saints Row the Third. Oh, I forgot. Oh, about that. Yeah, yeah, dude, that car wash got me all all excited for that. Oh, is that, yeah, that's the one you shot a uh, video for, right? Yeah, that my hand was all shaky because I guess I was getting a boner or something. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, any other games you guys can think of? Anything you're uh, getting pretty excited for? I mean, I think that's it. I'm looking at my game calendar. Right oh, now. Gears of War 3 for the Xbox, people. Yeah, that's what I said. It's one of my top ones. Yeah, I see Gears of War and then Forza's coming out. I don't know if anybody's actually going to play that game. Yeah, I got, a, I got a buddy who's big into Forza, so I might have to pick up that game. But the one that intrigued me the most that I'm not too sure about is Chainsaw Lollipop. I don't know if you guys saw the trailer for that. But that Body Bear 2 has got me excited too as well. I forgot to bring that out. Yeah, There's a lot of fucking stupid games. What about, what about for the last one, what about uh, Cod Black Ops Resurrection? Are any of you guys actually going to buy Resurrection? <laughs> I might just because I, I really want to play Moon. I wish I could just get Moon only. But If you guys got the Harden Edition, it's free. I know. I don't have the Harden Edition because I didn't pre-order and I couldn't pick yeah, it up. The, the Harden Edition sold out like crazy in our GameStop. They were gone before it even started. Oh, um, Tubby gets one because he's going to Call of Duty XP. Yeah, I hope. No, that's for a model. For you're, going in, you're going in spirit. I'm going in spirit, and I better get the fucking Harden Edition. No, I'm going to take free. I'm going to pick it up for you. Yeah, right. All right, guys, Triple Threat Episode 2, it's in the book. Yeah! But this Episode 3. Well, technically, it's the actual of the show. It's Episode 3. But as far as topics go, it's Episode 2. Anything you guys want to say to finish this shit off? Yeah, send an email to rtruthconspiracy at gmail.com. Let us know what you guys want us to talk about, who you want to be on the show, and stuff like that. And also, we have a call-in and a text number. Those will be in the description as well, so make sure you participate in the show. (laughs) 